I picked up one of these 12 volt coolers here. Um, works great. I'll leave a I'll leave a link for it down in the description. Uh, my only problem with it is it pulls about four amps all the time. There's no there's no regulation of the temperature in there. It's basically on all the time. So what I'm gonna do today <clears throat> is I'm gonna build a thermostat for it that I can uh, plug in anytime I need it. So anytime I'm running off battery power, I can put this thermostat in, in line with it and it's gonna control the temperature to whatever I set it. So I picked up this little temperature controller. This one is from Amazon. It was only about 10 bucks. But again, I'll leave another uh, link for this one in the, in the description. Okay, we're all wired up. Uh, let's take a little quick look at the wiring here. So you have a black and a yellow wire coming out. That yellow wire is gonna be the, uh, the output of this thermal controller. So, and then the black wire is ground. Uh, the input, which is gonna be this plug, is just a standard red and black. So I've uh, went ahead and installed those and just some little butt connectors. These are sealed butt connectors. So you seal them with heat and they have some adhesive on the inside, keeps everything dry. Shouldn't be a big deal for this project, but uh, there we go. We're gonna go ahead and wrap it back up and we'll give it a quick test. Okay, here's the completed controller. Um, you can see it reads in Celsius, so uh, if you're used to Fahrenheit, you'll have to do a little conversion. But right now, we have 12 volts coming out of the output. So you'll see we have the little out light on. Um, if I were to cool this sensor down, um, I think I have it set to around uh, 35 Fahrenheit. It would actually uh, shut off. So there you go. For 20 bucks, you have a little uh, thermostat you can use for your electric cooler. Thanks for watching.